Hello everybody, this is Thomas Stünkel, founder of commissioningcoach.com, a commissioning engineer and a commissioning manager. Welcome to the eighth part of my 10 parts commissioning video mini training. Today I will speak about initial operation. And this mind map you can download from my download section on commissioningcoach.com. And if you are a member of my online commissioning training, then you can download even a high resolution image of this mind map or even a PDF just below this video. So let's start with key element number seven, initial operation. The nine key elements of successful plant commissioning. Element seven, initial operation. What does it mean, initial operation? It means the entire plant is running in continuous operation, fine-tuned and prepared for the performance test. Our EPI doesn't say anything here as well. Shift works, like during our startup phase, the client, the contractor, they will be on shifts, vendors sometimes, and the licensor usually during day shift. If not in shifts, then they will be on emergency call during the night. And yeah, we should already set up this during the startup phase, our shift logbook. We have to know who will write in the shift log and how they have to write this and what will we write in the shift log, which things we have to document. And will we do this on paper or in somehow in an electronic form? Will we have a shift book just for the client or will we have as well one for the contractor or a combined one? This should have been decided already before startup. Typical activities during initial operation. Most important things is tuning, yeah? fine tuning of control loops, tuning of the complete process, and as well testing of operational limits. Maybe you will come in such a limit that the emergency shutdown starts. But this is as well a good opportunity to check and to observe that the emergency shutdown is working well. We will do everything to prepare for the next step, for the performance test. We collect important data, data about the equipment, all important and relevant process data, and as well performance data. As I told, we need to prepare the performance test that we can successfully complete the performance test. And the initial operation is the phase to prepare everything for a successful performance test run. Our interfaces from our real example, operations and maintenance as well by company with hands-on activities. Product quality control handled by company, the laboratory analysis. Production planning together with the company and the contractor and as well together the emergency response, security and safety. Maintenance support by company for hands-on duties and technical support. Vendors are managed by the contractor and the licensor still is there if it's necessary for relevant systems to provide technical assistance, he will do it. And process operating parameters and conditions will be advised by process licensors, process engineers. Then, when this is really successfully finished, everybody says, yeah, mm -hmm, we are ready for the next step, the performance test, then we can go further. But this has to be a mutual agreement between all 
involved parties, which means between the client, the contractor, and the licensor. Maybe the contractor thinks, oh, everything is ready and nice, but the licensor says, mm -mm -mm -mm. no, we have a problem in this unit and with this process parameter, then you cannot go further. It doesn't make sense. Each of the involved parties, the client, the contractor, and the licensor has to agree for our next step, the performance testing. Just a short summary of the topic initial operation. We know now that initial operation is the phase where we fine-tune the plant, the controllers, and we operate the plant within the limits. And we push it as well to the limits, and we check functions like emergency shutdown. This phase is used to prepare our next step, the performance testing. And about performance testing, I will speak in the next video. In the meantime, just sign up for my newsletter on commissioningcoach.com and I will keep you up to date about new training lessons. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thomas Stünkel.